Today, we shall do something about EMF equation of a commutator type winding. This commutator type winding we come across in DC machine, but in some AC machines we have had also commutator winding. But whether it is AC machine or DC machine, commutator winding behaves in the same fashion. Let us now move into the commutator winding. Prior to that, I would like to remind you of the basic machine model, which is known as Kron's primitive machine. You might recollect what that basic machine model was. This is your moving member, moving member and one winding along D axis on the rotor, another winding along Q axis, Q axis this is your D axis and this is your Q axis and <coughs> two windings on the fixed frame they are orthogonal to each other these are our dot terminals if current enters through dot terminal flux lines are set up in the along the positive d axis here and these are the corresponding positive directions of currents along the q axis now positive direction of current were defined in such a way that when flowing through the windings they set up flux radially outside and motoring convention we are assuming that is voltage applied drives the current and power is drawn from the source. This is our basic machine model which is known as also Kron's primitive machine machine now <clears throat> if we look into the commutator winding diagrammatic representation we find that this is our armature armature main field winding let us take separately excited machine separately excited machine and these windings were leveled as ds dr qr qs <coughs> And in a separately excited machine, we have the brushes placed 
electrically, magnetically along the direction perpendicular to the main field winding. And this is our conductors distributed over the armature. So, <coughs> distributed over the armature by the convention of positive current here then these sets of conductors must be carrying dot current and this will be carrying cross current, cross current. Then this will be your, this is your field winding, this is your armature winding, armature winding. In a commutator type winding you know that the commutator winding uh, on the armature they form closed circuit and as soon as we place brushes we get a different parallel paths. <coughs> Therefore, if we compare it, we find in this particular case that is separately excited DC machine and this will be our applied voltage V. This will be positive, this will be negative. If we compare these two, we find that in this case F corresponding to DS winding and this armature gives you QR winding. Therefore, in this case we have only DS winding and QR winding. <coughs> if you have uh, if you have uh, interpole winding, interpole winding, these are connected in series with the armature, then this interpole winding gives you your QS winding, QS winding. If you have got, if you have got a series field, series field, <coughs> then series field additional winding we have on the d-axis, if it is called ds1, this will be ds2. Now what about dr winding, this we shall see in the case of metadyne generator, this aspect we shall consider uh, very soon. Now here is a note of caution. While writing these equations, sometimes I have got the habit of changing the notations, but you should keep in mind the very basic conception, whether it is capital D or lowercase d, uh, don't bother much. You try to stick to the basic concept. <clears throat> Let us now go to separately excited machine. What will be the EMF equation? Let me redraw it again in a bigger way. Bigger way and uh, this is your field winding separately excited. Here is your armature winding and <coughs> this is which is separately excited we call it ds current carrying is ids by positive convention we have distributed winding just now what i have drawn this is And uh, we are assuming this is your Q axis, this is our D axis. 
and by our positive convention of current, current directions will be such that the flux lines are set up radially outwards. Then this must be your dot current, dot current, and this will be your cross current. Now, in the case of motoring operation, motoring operation, this is the direction of the flux lines. This is the direction of the flux lines. In the case of motoring operation, uh, if this carries cross currents, then if we apply left hand rule, the armature will be running in this direction. But our positive direction of rotation which we have assumed this is the direction of rotation but it does not matter only thing that omega r actual speed of rotation will be minus omega these aspects will be clear to you later on when we shall take up dc machines uh, in more detail because in this case this is your primitive machine and this is your actual machine and when these coils are interconnected we get various types of DC machine. Let, let us derive EMF equation, rotational EMF equation. Let, uh, let, let, let Z be the total number of conductors total number of conductors then conductors conductors per radian per radian will be z upon twice pi now <coughs> dc machine may be four polar six polar eight polar polar but we are considering a two polar structure because that is the basic structure. So here it is, we are considering only two polar structure, z upon 2 pi. Now we consider, <coughs> we consider a small segment, a small segment on the armature surface making an angle d theta at the center where this segment is at an angle theta from the d axis now diametrically opposite we have this we have conductors carrying current in the opposite direction therefore this what is the EMF induced? Let us do that. Now, <coughs> looking into this structure, we can proceed further. Now, let us call it, let us call it A, A prime. This is an elementary coil on the armature surface. Now, rotational rotational emf in coil a a prime rotational emf in coil a a prime we know the formula that b l v let us write now let the flux density at this point be b at this point b we call it b theta at an angle theta from the d axis then b length of the conductor l v v will be your velocity velocity will be omega r and number of turns number of turns will be z to pi this will be the rotational emf in coil a now one point 
<coughs> in this case, you can see uh, that what will be the direction of the rotational EMF? This is the direction of the field. This is the direction of the field. Rotational EMF will be also cross. Will be cross. If you apply a right hand rule, you will find it will be cross EMF. That is why we shall place a negative sign before it. Why? The reason is this that in a motor, applied voltage drives current. So, applied voltage drives current in the cross directions according to our positive convection. But we find EMFs are also acting in the same direction as that of the positive current. But this is the fact that in the case of motoring operation, counter EMF must act in the opposite direction, that is in the direction opposite to the current. But as according to our positive convention, EMFs are found to be this in the same direction as that of the current, that is why we are inserting negative sign. This is the reason. That is, in a motoring operation, counter EMFs must be acting in the direction opposite to the current. But here we find counter EMFs are in the direction of the current. That is why this counter EMF must be a negative of what should have been. That is why this negative sign is there. Now, you note here, flux density will be maximum at this point and gradually reduced to zero along the interpolar axis. Right now, uh, one point <coughs> that uh, in our very assumptions, we stated that flux density distribution is sinusoidal. That is, if you take this is your theta direction and this is your 0 that is the theta, this is your uh, from angle, angle is measured from d axis, therefore this is your 0 degree, 0 degree, this is your 0 degree and flux density is maximum at 0 degree, it reduces to 0 and positive. Therefore, we shall say that flux density will be this way and then if this is the cosinusoidal distribution and this is your theta, this is your B. Let this height be, uh, let this height be BP. Now, this BP maximum height of this flux density distribution is related to, related to IDS. That is BP, BP will be proportional to I d s that is b p will be equal to some constant k into i d s therefore b theta b theta that is this is really your theta and this small this is the incremental theta d theta therefore b theta will be your BP cosine theta. Therefore, therefore, rotational EMF, therefore, rotational, rotational EMF in coil A A dash what we designate it as DE, DE 
Q R rotational. Why? Because because this winding armature winding is equivalent to your Q R winding. Q R winding. That is why Q R rotational D E means D E means that. Rotational EMF in rotational EMF in the conductors spanning d theta. That is why d e elemental. D e rotational EMF. This will be now if we substitute it here minus uh, minus twice B P cosine theta into l into omega r into z upon twice pi here <coughs> what i have written this is for the conductors at the position a but this if we consider a a dash together then a 2 must come here that is why this 2 has been introduced and uh, this will be equal to uh, this will be equal to minus bp l omega r z upon pi cosine theta d theta next what will be the total induced rotational induced emf we must integrate it from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 therefore therefore rotational emf therefore rotational emf in coil qr what we designated as e qr rotational will be equal to minus bp l omega r z z pi integration minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 cos theta d theta and this will be your minus Minus two BP two BP L omega R Z this divided by pi. This will be the rotational EMF. Rotational EMF between these two terminals. Otherwise, rotational EMF in the uh, rotational EMF in the in the Uh, Q R of the armature will be this expression, but this is not a very convenient form. We will have to seek some other convenient form. Let us now see what the uh, what the other convenient form is. For this, let us take this case. That this is your. Armature. This time, what we do? We armature winding is fixed. We rotate the brushes through ninety degree and align it with d axis. D axis. In this case, now the conductors will be. All this, this will be the conductors. According to our positive convention, all these currents, all these conductors will be carrying current in one direction. All these conductors will be carrying current in the opposite direction. Directions will be such that flux lines are set up along this axis. Therefore, this axis and. 
this will be your current this time this time this will be your uh, cross cross current according to our positive convention this will be your dot dot current and flux lines will be set up therefore this time we get arrangement like this here is the ds winding same as this one and this time we get dr winding dr winding and uh, <coughs> this we can see it is similar to as if a coil is wound and the terminals are brought out in this case any change in current through ds winding will induce a transformer emf in dr winding no rotational emf transformer emf so let us now find an expression for transformer emf how to do it we will proceed in the same way we will proceed in the same way let us do it again that <coughs> this time what we do this is brushes are here and these are your conductors i am not showing the direction of the currents direction of the current this is and this is your field one <clears throat> let us take a again a small section on the cylindrical surface as before as before spanning over elementary angle theta and this angle this angle is your theta angle now we draw the same flux density distribution that is <coughs> we assume unisodal distribution of flux density that is why i have drawn this unisodal distribution of flux density now <coughs> here if this is at an angle this is this is at an angle theta and this elemental angle d theta and where this will be located what will be this angle this here it will be <coughs> uh, this one here if this is theta this angle this angle uh, now this is your theta no not here it will be uh, it will be somewhere here not this one this angle this angle will be pi minus theta because this is diametrically opposite if this angle is theta this angle your this angle will be pi minus theta that is why this is shown pi minus theta and this is your theta angle so <coughs> not this part and this is your a a prime 
Now, what is the flux density at A? Flux density at A is your BP, BP, uh, BP uh, cos theta, BP cos theta. We are now interested to know what will be the flux linkage, what will be the, because flux lines will be set up in this direction, what will be the total linkage with these commutator winding. This is the flux line set up, these are the flux lines. What will be the total linkage with this armature winding, that is what we want to find out. <clears throat> to do this, what we first assume that we take any position, any position at an angle alpha. We take any position at an angle alpha where alpha varies between, alpha is a point between A and A dash. That is, we take any point here, alpha. Now, flux density, flux density at, let us call this position P, this position P at an angle alpha. Flux density at alpha will be BP cosine alpha. Now, <coughs> uh, flux, flux threading through flux Threading through uh, an elementary area R D alpha flux threading through an elementary area R D alpha into L at P. That is we want to find out what is the flux threading through this small area. Flux threading through an elementary area R d alpha L at P will be your, this will be your B P cosine alpha R L d alpha. Now, now, what we do, linkage, linkage, linkage with the coil, with the coil A, A dash of turns, of turns, Z 2 pi d theta will be d lambda d r will be equal to uh, <coughs> will be equal to will be equal to integration of p p cosine alpha r l b p cosine alpha r l into z uh, b p cosine alpha r l this will be your let me write it in this other way this will be your BP 
R L integral minus pi minus theta to theta cosine alpha d alpha into z 2 pi d theta. Now let us understand the meaning of it. I am now placing this way. Look here. Now I am interested to know the linkage with a a dash. Linkage with a a a dash a a dash. Therefore, the number of turns, number of turns at a a dash z two pi d theta. That is the number of turns. Number of turns. Then what we do? The we this part. This part is the total flux threading through A A dash. Total flux threading through A A dash. This is the linkage. So this linkage, if you carry out this integration, it will you will get it to be uh, this will be equal to B P. R L Z two pi uh, into two sine theta d theta. This will be the expression. That is, this is equal to B P R L Z. Sin theta d theta this is the linkage with this is the linkage with this is your and this is the linkage with the coil This is the linkage with the turns spanning d theta. This is the linkage with this uh, elementary coil of turns uh, of turns z two pi theta. This is the linkage. Therefore, what will be the total linkage? D lambda d r. What will be the total linkage? Total linkage total. Linkage with the coil with the coil D R will be uh, lambda D R will be B P R L Z pi. This time, what will be the integration limit? Integration limit will be integration. The brass is here. Brass is here. Here at the position of the brasses. Integration will be zero to pi, because the coil is along the d-axis. Zero to pi. Therefore, integration will be zero to pi. Sine theta. D theta, B P R L Z pi sine theta D theta. This is equal to your. Uh, this will be equal to your uh, two B P R L Z pi. This will be linkage. So we find. Linkage with dr winding, dr winding due to ids 
through DS winding. This is your DR winding. DR winding is this much. And what is the definition of mutual inductance? Mutual inductance is it not equal to your M I D S is equal to twice B P R L J pi because this is the total linkage. If M is the mutual inductance between D S winding and D R winding, then linkage is also given by M I D S and just now we had find out rotational EMF. You might remember rotational EMF we got this expression rotational EMF E Q R rotational EMF we got 2 B P L omega R Z pi rotational EMF therefore 2 B P L R Z pi. This is your M I D S. Therefore, rotational E M F will be omega M I D S. Consequently, summarizing, we say that if you have, if you have a D S winding. DS winding carrying current, DS winding carrying current, IDS, rotational EMF that appear between these two terminal, which is your DR winding, which is your QR winding, rotational EMF, rotational EMF in the QR winding due to flux set up by current through DS winding will be given by minus omega m i d s. This is the expression for the rotational EMF. Like this, we will try to get the rotational EMF uh, in the DR winding due to flux along Q axis in our next class. So this is important you should know that this is the expression for rotational EMF, mutual inductance. That is. If you turn this along this, what is the mutual inductance? That EMF will be omega MI, MIDS linkage that multiplied by omega. So this is important point you should keep it in mind. So let us stop today. We shall continue about this commutator winding in our next class.